Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to spend some of your time with me today. I'm sorry that I haven't been on in a few weeks just with Christmas and everything. I kind of just didn't get the time and uh, it's taken me a while to get back to my normal and I know I haven't really been back to my normal filming schedule and uploading schedule but um, let's just say new year, fresh start. <laughs> So thank you so much for sticking with me. I really appreciate it and I am so sorry that I have gotten so behind in my comments. Um, I will try and get to everybody um, because I really do feel that if you take the time to leave me a comment, I need to respond because I like when people respond to me. So I'll get back on track. I hope the lighting is okay. I do have a window here in front of me, but it's, you can see it's causing a lot of uh, lighting issues. So I have a ring light on as well. So I hope it's okay. So I thought that I would kick off the new year with my empties, the final empties from last year. And I have quite a mix of things. I'm going to go through them fairly quickly. I'll give you small little reviews on each product and um, I probably won't link them because it's just too many. I'll just list them and most of them you will have heard me speak about before. So I'm going to get stuck straight in and the majority of these are skincare items. So I have my coffee here just to keep me going. So I'm just going to get stuck straight in and the first thing I have is the Garnier um, Micellar Cleansing Water all in one. So you can use it for um, makeup and um, I remove eye makeup with it. Um, I did like it. It's it's a you know it's a standard micellar water, um, but I would repurchase. I have repurchased that several times, and then I also have the simple micellar cleansing water. Um, I liked that one. I think it's a little bit gentler on the eyes, but um, yeah, they're a, a kind of a staple to have, aren't they? Just to remove the makeup before you go in for your your big cleanse. Um, this was a cleanser I used up. It's the Clarins Velvet Cleansing Milk with Alpine Golden gentian and lemon balm extracts so it was kind of like a, a deluxe sample size it lasted quite a long time i really liked it um you know clarence is such a, a lovely brand um, and it really really does does cleanse your skin really well so i would repurchase that to go along with it then i had the um smooth soothing toning lotion so it's hard to read that um, I'm going to need my glasses um, with chamomile and saffron flower extracts for very dry or sensitive skin and that lasted a long long time because I would wet the cotton wool and then put a few drops on so it lasted a long long time. I would repurchase that although I'm not really a toner type of girl I don't necessarily feel I have to have a toner in my rotation but that's a lovely gentle one. It doesn't dry the skin. If I was going to use a toner in, with any regularity, it's usually been the uh, it's usually been rose water from whatever brand, but my normal brand is Ultra Pure because it's available in my um, my local um, pharmacy. So that's a good one. I decant it into a spray bottle and I spritz it onto my face. It's really really nice, and you can dilute it with water if you want to, just to get a little bit longer out of it. Really nice. This is another toning solution that I used up over. I'd say the course of a year. I had a little bit of help from my daughter, but it's the ordinary, um, the glycolic acid, 7% toning solution. So it's a nice big bottle. There's, um, how much is in it? 240 ml in that. Now, I think this is a stronger um, concentration than I have been used to because strangely enough, it suited my face. But if I used it on my neck, I could feel, I could feel a burning and the next day I would have redness in the creases on my neck I would have redness. It does work but if you have any kind of sensitivity maybe that strength I think you can get a lower strength. It was a good value I can't remember how much I paid for it maybe 12 euro but I definitely would repurchase that and actually I haven't had it in my rotation for a while so I need to bring it back. Um, another ordinary product is the Buffet and it's a serum um, and it can sorry the lighting it contains a sort of a mix of all kinds of ingredients so it has it's a multi technology peptide serum um, so it has obviously peptides and various other 
ingredients in it. Um, I think there might be niacinamide in it, um, but it's instead of using all those individual items or ingredients, you can use this. And you can use it AM and PM um, after cleansing. I didn't, I did like it. I mean, it seemed to be very nice on my skin. I don't know if I noticed any particular improvement, but I have used it before. Um, it certain, I certainly didn't notice any disimprovement, so I probably would buy that again. I mean, it's a really good value. That's, I can't remember, it was probably less than 10 euro, but the ordinary is priced really, really well. So to, these are two cleansers and they're both from the same um, brand. They're from, I think it's a Boots company, but it's Your Good Skin. And this one is the um, Refreshing Face Wash. And this one is the Comforting Gel Cleanser. I really enjoyed these and they were on offer when I bought them. Um, I think I bought this one first. So if you like a kind of a sort of like a hot, a hot cloth cleanser and so far as it goes on like a gel and it emulsifies and you can remove it with, you can remove it with water or you can remove it with a, a wet face cloth or a microfiber cloth. Really, really good at cleansing the skin. Really, really good. And I used that for both my first cleanse and my second cleanse. Um, if I wasn't using a micellar water, it's really gentle on the skin. It works works in harmony with your skin. Formulated with green tea, vitamin C and soothing bisabolol. Now, I'm not sure what that ingredient actually means, but it gently um, melts away makeup, excess oil and daily impurities. It's really gentle on the skin and it's usually, not usually, but it's very often on offer in boots. Really liked that. I definitely will repurchase. In fact, there might be a little bit left in it and I need to cut it open and get it out. It comes out like a clear gel and it's really gentle on the skin. And I think because I liked that so much, I went and bought the refreshing face wash. So I would use that for my morning cleanse, really gentle. Again, works in harmony with your skin, formulated with green tea, vitamin C and soothing bisabolol. Um, yeah. Just that it comes out, you don't need very much at all. They, they lasted really a long time. I don't think there's anything left in it, no. It just comes out, I think it comes out clear. Um, yeah, it's clear. And then you can just, um, it foams up a little bit when you put it on your skin with water, but it doesn't, it's not harsh, it doesn't dry the skin. I really, really liked both of those products and definitely will repurchase. This is the Note Instant Biphase Makeup Remover. So, I know it's hard to read that. You can use it to remove all of your makeup. I tended to use it just as an eye makeup remover. It's very gentle. So it is biphase, so it means that means it'll split. So it's it's kind of like an, a water solution and an oil solution, and you have to mix them. And I found it very gentle, um, very slightly oily residue, but nothing like I have used with, I have found with other um, biphase eye makeup removers that I have used. You can see there's a little bit left in it, so it is kind of blue, but really good value and I, I really enjoyed it. This was a sample of a Clarins eye cream. It's the Super re super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. Teeny tiny, but actually because you need such a small amount, I got a long time out of it and I cut it open to get every little bit. And that's actually not, you know, you can see white in there. <laughs> that's the color of the tube. It's not, there's no cream left in there at all. Um, really liked it very hydrating and um, yeah really I, 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 I really did enjoy that. This is the Embryolise, it's the Lay Cream Concentrate um, used it to the very end. This was gorgeous and um, I bought it, I went to buy a particular moisturiser and they didn't have it so I bought this instead. Um, kind of on its cult it's cult status um, recommendation really because you can use it as a cleanser a moisturizer and a mask and um, it's very gentle on the skin and I believe that an awful lot of makeup artists carry this in their kit and um, it's really good for hydrating the skin it's really good for kind of um, you know um, as a makeup base that's another use and um, so I did enjoy it it was good value and it lasted a long time so I definitely would repurchase that then I had an SPF and this is the Aven Very High Protection SPF 50 Plus Mineral um, mineral Fluid and I liked this but it's very thick. If you put it on, and I, I was using it in the summer, if you put it on the way they recommend where you put, you know, two lines 
uh, you know, the length of one finger and the length of, an, of the other finger. It was very thick and it took a while for it to settle into the skin. A little bit greasy, um, but a very good brand, good for sensitive skin. I just don't know if I'd repurchase that particular one. This is another cleanser and it is actually from Superdrug. It's the Melting Cleansing Balm. It's from the, um, what is it called? The B, the B range or B, yeah, that one there. Is that upside down? There you go. Um, and it was a, um, like a, a cleansing balm. Oops. There's nothing left in it, but you can not really, you can see that it was kind of um, a whitish color. Um, and you just take out a small amount and massage it into the face. It turns to an oil and then you um, wash it off with either with water or I, my preference would be to use um, a wet face cloth. Really nice, really good value and um, I definitely would repurchase that. Then I had a face mask that I used up and this is the hydrating sheet mask um, from Sculpted by Amy. It's for moisturizing, soothing, plumping and for a dewy finish. Um, so really, really love this. Um, it just, you take it out, unfold it, apply it to the skin. There's so much serum in it that you are going to feel the benefits for days afterwards. Really, really love that. Definitely would repurchase. It's not the first time I've used it. Um, and actually there, there was quite a lot of serum left over in inside um, the packaging. So you could to, you know remove that and put it onto your face and neck and have the benefits of that too so really really love that I think, i'm not sure what I'm, I'm not sure what price they are i think they're not they're not that expensive um for sheet masks so really enjoyed that so moving on to body care i just have a few items this is the sanctuary spa signature natural oils ultra rich shower oil three day moisture um gold of pleasure oil and that's it there really enjoyed that there's a tiny little bit left so it's quite you can see it's kind of like the color of honey it has a nice scent um, it's a bit it's a bit gooey it has a lovely scent and um, it's not too highly fragranced though um so if you're sensitive to fragrance in the shower it won't it shouldn't upset you really nice does kind of give your skin a little bit more moisture but i don't know if it gives three days worth of moisture but a lovely shower gel then I had used up the Clarins Exfoliating Body Scrub for smooth skin with bamboo powders and um, softens, smooths and and firms. <laughs> so that's that's it. And um, I enjoyed the product. It's quite a fine grain. It does give you a nice exfoliation. But what I do find is that when you get near the end of the product, when you're in the shower, it can be quite difficult to get, you know, squeeze out that last bit. And there could be lots left. Um, it has a nice, just has a nice scent. It comes out like a creamy peachy color. You can just about see it there in the lid. Um, but um, if it was in a tub, I think it would be really, really plastic tub it would be really very shower friendly but I did enjoy using that. Then I had um, a body lotion this one is the Dove oil, Skin Glow Oil in Milk body lotion which I have cut to get the last out of it so that's it there it's in a lovely pink tube and I'll just read to you what it says vitamin blend complex with niacinamide and vitamin c for all skin tones for nourished skin instant healthy glow and 12 hour lasting radiance and um, 48 hour active moisturization i did enjoy this i liked i did like it, it is a lovely lotion it's an um, an oil in all as oil in milk body lotion so you're getting the benefits of an oil as well so that's my body care items moving on to some hair care i finished a really big <laughs> tin of the l'oreal elnet Microdiffusion hairspray stronghold. That was a great one, and I love it. it. Gives it, it just dispenses a lovely fine mist, and it doesn't make your hair crunchy. It brushes out easily. It's just a go-to, isn't it? And lots of hairdressers have that, um, in their in their work bags, their when they're styling for shoots and things like that. And um, I also used up. This was a like a. Um, a small size of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo um, actually cleans hair and softens and shines. So a smallish one, it was about 14 euro. I remember um, I wanted to buy 
there's another one that gives volume because I'm all about volume, but they didn't have it. So the girl said that this would do something similar. It was lovely, lovely scent. Didn't do anything in particular for my hair. So I don't know if I'd repurchase that. Another styling product that I finished and this lasted me for over a year. And I'm, I kid you not when I tell you that I used it every single time I washed, my, I washed and dried my hair. And this is from Alpha Parf Milano and it is the Style Stories um, Blow Dry Cream. So really liked this. It just seemed to moisturize my hair. It helped it to hold its style. It wasn't weighing my hair down. So I'll just read to you what it says. It's a volumizing cre cream, makes drying quicker and easier, fights frizz and does not weigh hair down. Also ideal for use before cutting. So distribute over damp hair before blow drying. So I, I used about a pump and a half and it lasted me well over a year. So I can highly recommend that. It just really cares for your hair and I will definitely repurchase that. I have a little bit of makeup, um, not too many items. This is the Catrice Pure Volume um, Mascara. Sorry, the light is playing tricks. Um, that's the way there. Um, I really liked this and it does remind me, packaging and all, of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It does exactly what it says. It definitely gives volume and separation and length. I really liked it. It's very pocket friendly and the brush is a really nice brush as well. So it's kind of tapered. Can you see that? Um, easy to get to all the lashes and it lasts really well. So I will definitely repurchase that. Another favorite of, uh, mascara of mine is the Note Volume One Touch Mascara. Love this one as well. Um, love the packaging, it's so pretty. It has like um, an hourglass. You can just about see it, there's a hair on it. Um, it has a little hourglass brush, really good as well for getting to all those tiny little lashes. Definitely gives volume, definitely gives length and wears really well. I just, I really enjoyed that one. This is, yes, this is a, um, a concealer, but it's actually, it's from the Inglot range, the Mora, Mora Higgins by Inglot range. And this was one of their endless beauty ones. And I think this was in Aria Glow. So you could use it for lots of different, for contouring your face, you know, where you want to highlight and so on. I used it mainly as a concealer. Really liked it. Lovely consistency, lovely texture. Um, nice little doe foot wand. Doesn't particularly have a scent. Um, you know, I love Inglot products anyway, so I, that's a lovely one. Um, I would repurchase that. This is a brow product. It's the Be Perfect um, Indestructible Brow. And I love this one because it has its little spoolie at the end and then it has, I don't know, it doesn't have it now, but it has a tiny little micro, microfine pencil. So it makes drawing or filling in your brows very easy and creating a nice full look to your brows. Um, really like that, definitely will, will repurchase that. I have other brow products in, in the mix at the moment, but I definitely will. This was a fail. This is from e.l.f. and it is an, um, it's an eyeshadow primer and it's in the color sheer and I was very I, was, I had great expectations for this so it has a nice little doe foot applicator it goes on sh sheer it has a kind of a skin skin tone there you can kind of see it there this did not work for me and it seemed to irritate my eyes so that's just me <laughs> it will probably work for everybody else but I have very sensitive eyes it didn't work for me and so I won't be repurchasing for that now I have some little um, miscellaneous items I have two perfumes believe it or not I finished up um, a bottle of Jo Malone peony and blush suede cologne and this one was how many it's that size 100 ml so I had that for quite a while, love this scent, oh my goodness. It's such a pretty floral feminine scent, love that. I will use it again, but <laughs> it'll be when I get it as a present um, from um, a very kind family member, hopefully. <laughs> this was one that I used up as well. I have a little atomizer that I received 
from one of my sisters for a birthday a few years ago and it had two, a couple of refills and it's the Coco um, Mademoiselle Chanel Chanel Coco Mademoiselle so that's the little atomizer you open the the, the atomizer and you put in the uh, re the refill and off you go so that one is used up um, love that it's more of an evening scent <clears throat> Now this is something I will never be without and I've gone through I don't know how many of them and that is the Ella and Joe Squeaky Clean Brush Cleanser. This is amazing for cleansing your brushes between your big cleansing of your brushes if you know what I mean before your big washes and um, this is an instant an instant brush cleaner. It has lemon balm in it so it has a lovely scent and you spray it onto um, I put it onto a face cloth you can put it onto a kitchen towel um, you can spray it directly on the brush and you just wipe it off and it cleans them. So particularly for eyeshadow brushes, I find, you know, so you're not getting any muddying of your colours and they're, it leaves them hygienically clean so you're not going to get any eye infections or, you know, anything to irritate your eyes. I wouldn't be without this. It's about €20 Euro and it lasts for quite a few months um, and you can repurchase the, the bottle because it's it's uh, stainless steel. You can peel off the label and... Um, yeah sometimes they have them on a bundle so really I won't be without that love it then I have unfortunately to let go of my Chanel um, Mythique um, nail polish uh, it just dried up and um, yeah it just I can't get any out of it and it's a beautiful color love it but I have to let it go so that's gone and then my last item is um, the collagen that I take and I take a little collagen capsule every morning this one is from my vitamins um, and very often these are on offer in fact the last time I replaced them I got three months for the price of something like 10 euro and um, it contains 400 milligrams of collagen per serving and in each bottle you have 90 capsules actually it must have been more than that it was six months worth I got or maybe nine months worth because I got three of them. it must have been nine months worth because I did I bought three of these um I really like this and uh, I normally would be a little bit skeptical about things like that but you know where I don't necessarily notice the effect on my skin but I feel it in my joints my joints it really helps my joints I just feel like it gives my my joints a bit more of um cushioning if that makes sense and it's of course it's good for everything in your body and it is good for your skin so um i'm, I'm i have another one that is in use at the moment and i will be repurchasing um again so that's my miscellaneous so that has been my empties my last empties for 2022 because i don't think i've thrown anything into it since the new year started and i really need to get rid of these and, and get them into the recycling um yeah so i hope you have enjoyed that um let me know if you've used up anything of interest or things that you have repurchased let me know if you've enjoyed this if you haven't already maybe you would hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up it really helps leave your comments in the comments box below i promise i will get back to you and hopefully i will be back on my normal filming and uploading and um, schedule so thank you so much if you've made it to the end. <laughs> thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll chat to you very soon in the next video. Bye.